Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. The day is finally here, we're announcing the Christmas Toymation prizes, how to enter, and going through some Q&A questions that I can answer. That's how you do a Q&A. The questions I answer are a Q&A about little ins and outs of this competition. So I want to make sure I've got all of the information for you guys. And if you have any more questions, please do leave them in the comments down below. I'll try and answer every single one. I'm going to jump straight into it today. And yes, first I'm going to talk about the actual prizes. Then I'm going to talk about some additional rules and the basic rules. And then a Q&A answering your questions you've submitted in the previous video and on a community post. So. The prizes for the Christmas Toymation Fest are pretty great. We've got first, second, and third prize, and then Mega is going to be doing some additional judging on best action, best animation, and best story. And then we're also going to have a random prize that we send to somebody randomly, so everybody has the chance of winning. The prizes for first, second, and third, I'm really excited to announce that all three will get a full set of Halo Hero Series 16. Then second prize will get an additional Scorpion Clash, and first prize will get an additional Banished Phantom. So, third place, Halo Hero 16. Second place, Scorpion Clash, Halo Hero 16. First place, Banished Phantom, Halo Hero 16. And then we've also got, as mentioned, some additional prizes for best action, best animation, best story, and a bonus prize still to be confirmed that we will be giving out to somebody random. So everybody has a chance of winning in this competition. If you guys are not up to date about the theme of this contest, then check this out. I just had to play that one more time. That is like my favorite thing I've made over the past like couple of months. I just think it's so epic to be including our competition with the Assault on Squad 45. Like it's so outrageous. The Assault on Squad 45 returns this holiday season for the Christmas Toymation Fest 2022. And reading the comments of the previous video, like nostalgia is running wild there. Like I, I keep on coming to random realizations that like this is happening. Like we are continuing the legacy of the Assault on Squad 45, which meant so much to me and so many other people. It inspired my animation and then YouTube journey and so many others. So hopefully it will inspire some new faces today. Submissions are open right now and you have to create an animation between 30 seconds and five minutes long. The theme is the Master Chief versus the enemy. So you can have the Master Chief fighting anyone really. At the end of the Assault on Squad 45 part four, the Master Chief wakes up out of cryo sleep and then whatever he does next is up to you. You can flash forward five years to him fighting the Banished. You can fast forward a month to him fighting the Covenant, or X amount of years to fight in the Storm Covenant, or the Forerunners, you can do whatever you want. It just has to be the Master Chief versus the enemy. And you can use any basic green Spartan, like the original Halo Wars Spartans, or any like basic Master Chief. And there are tons of affordable sets to get the Master Chief in still at retail. If you don't have a Master Chief, I would recommend going on eBay or Facebook Marketplace, looking at random bulk deals and listings. There's bound to be a very, very cheap, affordable way to get a basic green Spartan. Your entry must be a new video, no re-uploads, no old animations. It has to be a brand new project that you've worked on from now. And please keep your animations clean. Very limited blood and gore. 
You can use some clay blood, you can use some after effects like overlays of blood, but just keep it clean. Like don't do too much. You know, there's always a limit to how much you should do. Same with cursing. Don't do any cursing in your animations, just a little bit of blood and gore is accepted. Last year's winners are allowed to enter, and the only thing I'm going to change from the last discussion, because I talked to, to a few people on Discord about this, yes, you can use Halo Infinite music and Halo Wars music. I thought the original Halo Wars soundtrack should be included because that was the original nostalgia for the Assault on Squad 45, that was the music they used, that's what made it so epic in my opinion. So yes, you can use Halo Wars original soundtrack and Halo Infinite soundtracks. I've linked them down below and I've linked a guy called Ungoy Master. He's pulled all the soundtracks from inside Halo Infinite and he's included like way more, like 30 minute long epic the Tower or the House of Reckoning soundtracks, they're really dope. So I've included all the links to those soundtracks down below. Submissions are now open and they close on January 14th, and then the winner will be announced on January 21st. I've skipped through a lot of details here, but if you wanna check the full rules, make sure to check out our previous video. I've linked it down below in the comments and the description, and it'll be at the end card of this video. The original announcement for this competition has more rules than this. How to submit is very simple this year, and I've kept it very simple because last year, People got confused, there were a few too many ways to submit, and people were incorrectly submitting. And then unfortunately, when the competition actually finished, people were complaining that their video wasn't in the final entry, even though they hadn't submitted correctly. So I wanna make sure that the rules are crystal clear here. Step one, upload your video, your animation, to YouTube. You can have it as an unlisted or a public video. That's up to you. You can have it public if you want people to view it, unlisted if you just want me to view it. Upload your video to YouTube. Then send me a link of that video to halocontest101 at gmail.com. You must include the name of your animation and the link to your animation. If you do not do it this way, there is no other way for me to accept animations because I want to make sure no one gets left out. I want to make sure there's no confusion, no miscommunication. The only way to submit uploading the video to YouTube and then sending a link of that video with the title to halocontest101 at gmail.com. And only when I've replied saying, entry received Spartan, you'll know your entry has been submitted. And yes, it will take a couple of weeks sometimes for me to respond because I'm gonna clear them out in big sections, but only when you've received entry received Spartan as a reply, you know it's accepted. We also wanted to add a bonus little challenge for these animations. There are two extra things that you can include in your animations. You don't have to include them, but if you do, we're gonna pull them all together and make a montage of this one thing. You can include the Master Chief taking down an elite in a creative way, or the Master Chief rescuing a group of Marines. And I wanna make it clear, this will not affect whether or not you can win. And it's just a fun little extra. We're gonna take like a hundred different variants of the Master Chief taking down an elite and then put it into a big montage. I think it'll just be fun. So submit by January 14th, and then we're gonna collate them all together. We're gonna do a live stream watching them all, we're gonna have Mega decide some of the winners, and then we're gonna announce the full winners on January 21st. And there are loads of great people helping me judge, including Demarcation Media, Strandy42, Toe of Ultimate Doom, loads of great names. It's gonna be a real blast, like it's honestly gonna be a riot. So all you need to do to submit is upload your video to YouTube, send me a link with the title of that video to halocontest101 at gmail.com. Make sure to not email with multiple email addresses or anything like that, and don't spam reply saying, have you not replied yet? Have you not seen it yet? Be patient. But I will respond to everyone's and hopefully we'll have a, a breezy time. Hopefully there'll be no issues. All right, so what I'm gonna go through now is some Q and A. Some questions that have been asked on our community pages and I'm gonna answer them all as best I can. So the first one is from Urdagain8263, whatever that is. Can I use the plain green Spartan from 2009 as Master Chief? Yes, absolutely. Any basic green Spartan that has the basic helmet you know, the staple helmet from Halo Wars or Halo 2, 3, you can use that as a Master Chief. It doesn't have to be an official 117 Master Chief. A cheap, affordable set to get the Master Chief in right now is still the Warthog Rally. If you just scour through eBay at old Halo Mega Blocks figures, you'll find one for less than $5. Mr. Jonan7950, can you add any other characters from the UNSC? Absolutely. The Master Chief can have allies from Marines, from other Spartans, from Lasky, from whoever you want, as long as it's based around the Master Chief. Absolutely. Zany Tank Studios. I can't wait to do this. Squad 45 is forever part of me. Yes. Yes, me too. Also, does it have to be just Chief or can we have a bunch of buddies like Marines with him? So yes, you can absolutely have as many 
allies of the chief as you'd want. I mean, it can be anything, like you can do any kind of creativity with this. Any, any characters really, as long as there's a story to make them allies, you can have them fighting alongside it. All right, shadowy YT3769. I wonder if we can only use Halo Infinite lines. Oh, he's referring to voice lines. So yes, you can use any voice lines from any of the games. And if you search on YouTube, something like Halo 4 cutscenes, no music, or Halo 2 cutscenes, no music, there'll be uploads of the entire cutscenes from a game but without any music, so you can then pull the audio files of those voice lines. And you can use voice lines from any of Master Chief's adventures. Are we allowed to use Lego bricks and base plates for terrain? Absolutely. You can use Lego or any other brand, any knockoff brand, any lesser mega. <laughs> yeah, you can use Lego, that lesser mega product. Uh, yeah, you can use any bricks from any companies. Uh, make it a bit discreet, but like, and, and certainly don't use Lego figures. Make sure it's only mega figures. And yes, you can also use, say, Call of Duty figures, any of Mega's lines, uh, past and present, but make sure it's centered around Halo, absolutely. Emil7077 asks if he can use Flood, absolutely. You can have the Master Chief fight in the Flood, Covenant, Banish, Storm Covenant, whatever you want, Forerunners, The Created, whatever you would like. Steph1082, could I play my own music from my piano? Now this is a challenging one and I've received a couple of comments like this. I would love for you to use your own composed music more than anything, but because of copyright censors, I can't allow it. Copyright on YouTube is weird nowadays. Like sometimes it'll copyright someone playing their own music, even if it's like, you know, they're just playing the Halo jingle or something and they get copyright for Halo music. It's like, it's crazy. So the only music we can use is Halo Wars and Halo Infinite. And I wanna do that because like, I can't, you know, have one exception for someone and not for another. Like we have to just have a solid set of rules and I hope you understand but I would love to hear your music in the future. Sai is cool. I'm kind of confused on the rules. Does it have to be longer than 30 seconds and no longer than five minutes or something else? It can be 30 seconds, it can be five minutes, it can be anywhere in between. 30 seconds is the minimum, five minutes is the maximum. Bread5791, <laughs> and it's just a thumbnail of bread, that's great. What if I don't have a Master Chief? Um, a basic green Spartan will do, but it has to kind of resemble a Master Chief and you can find them super, super cheap online. Lake Side Airsoft 4460. What do you consider intense gore? It's such an interesting question. Intense gore is just pushing it too far. Like, just having, like, exploding gore. Like, bleh, 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 bleh. Yeah, like, that's taking it too far. But general clay, general little blood effects, not a problem. What is the minimum frame rate, asks an attempt at making a handle. Minimum frame rate? There is none. Do whatever you like. And LS3D Printing asks, are 3D printed parts allowed? Absolutely. There were some great 3D printed parts in previous animations last year. You can use whatever you can find. And finally, Deep Dish Co. 7725. When are we supposed to turn in our stop motion videos? Today or any time after that, up until January 14th. January 14th is when the animation submissions close, but you can submit all the way up until that date. I would advise trying to aim for submission at least two weeks before January 14th, but then if you have to go to January 14th, it's okay. But just try and like, you know, take your time, but also don't leave it last minute. That's my best advice. Ladies and gentlemen, the Christmas Toy Nation Fest returns with its fifth year. And this time we are coming in hot and spicy with the Assault on Squad 45 part five. I am elated with excitement and make sure to ask any questions you have in the comments down below. I will try and reply to every single one. This is a beautiful opportunity. Thank you so much to Mega for three sets of Halo Hero 16, a Banished Phantom, a Scorpion Clash and other prizes. Please do submit your entry by January 14th by only uploading your video to YouTube and then sending me a link with the title of your video to halocontest101 at gmail.com. Shout out to y'all. You yes, stay awesome. You yes, stay safe out there, folks. Thank you so much for the continued support, as always. And the domain is signing off. See you for the Christmas Toymation Fest 2022.